In this local government office in northwest Nigeria, local farmers organized into citizens' militias are cautiously laying down their arms. After years of spiraling conflict over land and resources between native farmers and Fulani ethnicity herders, a fragile peace deal appears to have been reached. In exchange for ending hostilities, local authorities in the Zamfara region have promised new employment opportunities for the militia members and the so-called Fulani bandits. We should keep our weapons, we do not kill any Fulani or any other person, we should stop what we are doing. Based on his advice, we accept that's why now we be a normal people. Mere months ago, Hassan was a wanted man. For eight years, he led a force of over a thousand so-called bandits camping out and planning raids from the region's dense forests. He insists that he only got involved as a matter of self-defense. They set fire to my village and killed my parents. What were we supposed to do? Just wait and let them carry on attacking us? But he and many of his fighters have now handed in their weapons under the government's amnesty program. Hassan has already seen improvements to his daily existence. Before, you never would have seen me here. I was living in the bush with my men. Today, the different communities coexist. And I can move around freely. The conflict has caused an internal displacement crisis with many thousands of people fleeing their homes to escape the raids and kidnappings. With the violence previously showing no signs of abating, the camps set up for the internally displaced have swollen. Last year alone, as many as 40,000 people also sought refuge in neighboring Niger. In light of the New Deal, authorities are now encouraging people to leave the camps and return home, but not everyone is convinced. I love my village, but because of these bandits, I will never be able to return home. Even if they have left the big cities, they are still in the bush. They terrorize us. Despite the peace deal, some local farmers in the citizens' militias admit to keeping hold of some of their old weapons. They still fear that hostilities may one day return.